Guys, so um, today I wanted to share with you, um, I guess what essentially is my biggest cope and what keeps me from offing myself as I guess most, most needs do. And um, that would have to be my hobby or passion for music and my dream of becoming a famous music producer, which hasn't come to reality yet and probably won't but um i mean it's something that i cling to uh and have basically made a part of my identity and you know it's what i tell people when they ask what i'm doing like you know how when you sometimes have to meet family members and you know they ask so what are you doing nowadays and then you know because i don't work obviously because i'm lazy as hell so i just tell them my usual cop-out answer that um oh i'm i'm working on my music and you know i guess that's one benefit of having that sort of hobby and dream is that i at least have an excuse even though they know i know and they know that i'm not actually doing that i'm playing video games and wasting time watching youtube but um yeah that's one i guess benefit of that that definitely helps with um self-esteem because at least you know i feel like people are always looking for you to give some sort of answer because if you just tell them that you're not doing shit you're you're neat basically then they just lose their minds and basically don't want anything to do with you i mean they still don't but they i guess won't be afraid to show it and they just treat you like shit but that's besides the point. Um, yeah, so there's that aspect of it. And also, when I first got into it, I was really interested in it. But, you know, as with anything in my life, I found it really hard to stay consistent and put in the work in the parts that I'm actually weak in as far as like my music goes, which is mostly everything. And, um, yeah, but regardless of how much work I actually put into it, I I basically made it a part of my, my identity and you know, I've I'm always clinging on to this this idea that, you know, this dream, this idea and this probably delusion that you know, one day I'm going to hit that 10,000 hour hour mark where I'm just I become a master producer and I'm able to make instrumentals and whatever that are really catchy and that people will be able to buy them, will want to buy from me, I guess. And I'll make so much money doing it that I'll become some success story. And, you know, all the people who doubt me and, you know, talk shit behind my back because I literally had one of my friends who I know for a fact said I was trash behind my back and you know maybe they're right but I don't fucking know like obviously that pisses me off having put in the time that I have because I still put in a lot of time into it and um yeah um just there's that and you know I these ideas that you know I'm gonna prove all the haters wrong and not just that I'm gonna become some massive success story and shit on all the people that used to bully me and look down on me and whatnot and you know I guess whereas a lot of needs have don't really have some sort of dream or goal I guess you know maybe somehow even though what I'm doing might not be the healthiest thing I've basically decided that you know I might as well just fully invest myself, throw myself fully into this delusion and just go, I, I don't know, go balls deep as they say <laughs> into my fantasy of being a musician. And that definitely helps with depression, I think, because, you know, I feel like my depression hits when I start to have these feelings of doubt that, you know, I'm probably not actually talented enough to make it. Or maybe, but then there's the other part of me that's like, oh, you know, that's what the haters want you to believe. That's what, that's what society wants you to believe that you're not anything special, that, you know, you're actually capable of doing this. And 
I probably sound like a delusional narcissistic prick right now, but um, yeah, that's definitely helps me get through the day. And um, yeah, pretty much why I haven't coped. And when I do manage to make music, it definitely feels, it's pretty fulfilling feeling like listening to something you made because I don't know like how true this is of other arts, but when you, I guess, when a painter paints a painting, or in my case, when I managed to make a full beat or whatever, you know, you listen to it and I guess something clicks in your brain and you're like, wow, this is literally the best shit I have ever heard in my life. This is literally music made by God. And I mean, I don't know, it's, it's after listening to a while, you realize that, okay, or when you step away from it for a while and you listen and when you and you listen to it um maybe like the day after and you realize okay this is actually kind of shit but in the moment right after making it i guess your brain kind of like tries to reinforce that behavior and it's like wow this is the best music i've ever heard in my life maybe i'm actually onto something you know maybe i'm actually um i have a shot at this but and you know, for that brief moment, you kind of get a huge hit of dopamine and huge boost in self-esteem. And you know, that definitely helps drive away the feelings of hopelessness and aimlessness just for that brief second. But at the same time, you know, I don't know, I still mostly don't make music because I'm just too fucking afraid that the next thing I make won't live up to what I made previously. and that I'm addicted to, and also because I'm addicted to um, just a lot of time-wasting activities. But anyways, yeah, I guess that's pretty much sums up the re many f uh, the various reasons why music is currently my biggest cope and uh, has managed to keep me from roping. And anyways, I'm going to uh, end my monologue here for now and um, I guess show some clips of me playing some chords and you'll probably realize that I'm not actually anything special but you know I thought it might be a nice change of pace to see me playing some playing the keyboard behind me because you know I do enjoy it I guess and anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed the video um, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and enjoy some clips of me playing music
Thank you.